Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have Space between plates of a parallel plate capacitor is filled by a weakly conducting viscous fluid of resistivity rho Okay, uh, dielectric constant is epsilon r Distance between the plates is d. Capacitor is connected to a battery having terminal voltage v small and a small conducting and almost massless ball having a charge q0 is released in the fluid okay force of viscous drag on the ball in the fluid is f equals beta v so the viscous force is directly proportional to velocity uh, v is the velocity of the ball beta is the known factor if the ball stops before striking any of the plates find the maximum distance the ball will move okay assume no gravity okay so as you can see that in this question they have released a charge q0 in this conducting medium now as this is a conducting medium dielectric medium okay of resistivity rho this charge will start decaying decaying means its charge will start to decrease as it will uh, give away some of its charges with time in the form of leakage current okay so to solve this question we need to understand the concept of leakage current first okay so please see this diagram this is a spherical region of very large radius okay and this is a conducting medium okay having conductivity sorry resistivity rho okay and the permittivity is epsilon I have placed a charge at the center of the sphere at t equals to 0 the value of the charge is q0 okay and due to this charge as this charge is present inside a conducting medium this charge will leak away radially so that some current can flow inside this medium okay so for that to find out the value of current I have taken a region which is at a radius r and of thickness dr so it is a thick spherical shell its resistance would look something like this dr equals to rho dr by 4 pi r square that is the surface area and the potential difference between these two surfaces would be this one how did I get this so electric field equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square equals dv dr so dv is this one so we got the value of potential difference we got the value of resistance just plug this value here these two values here you will get the expression for current now the current is flowing at the cost of the decay of this charge so i must be written as the negative rate of change of q okay now solving this differential equation for q we get the expression of q like this because at t equals to 0 initial charge was q0 after some time t the charge becomes q okay so as you can see it is decreasing exponentially with time okay fine at t tends to infinity all the charge will be vanished okay so now let us come back to the question we will use this expression in our question okay so as you can see that here is a charge which was q0 at t equals to 0 now what happens inside this capacitor there will be some constant electric field v by d that will apply a force okay now due to this electric force the charge starts to move towards right and as the charge starts to move there will be a viscous force acting in the opposite direction and also with the increased amount of as the time increases the value of q0 is also decreasing following this formula q0 e to the power minus t divided by rho epsilon fine so at any instant the force acting on the charge would look like this okay minus beta v because it is moving uh, it is being applied in the opposite direction of the motion plus q e so f can be written as mass times acceleration acceleration is dv by dt v is dx by dt and q uh, sorry e is v by d and in the next line i have put q equals q naught e to the power minus t by rho epsilon fine 
multiplying both side uh, with dt we get m d v minus beta d x plus v by d q naught this one. Now, integrating putting all the required limits at t equals to 0, x was 0, v was also 0. After a long time, okay, the charge will vanish. So, there will be no electric field, uh, electric force. So, the charge will not move further at x equals to x max. At that time also, v will become 0. So, integrating here, we get this one putting the required limits from 0 to infinity plus becomes minus because minus 1 by rho epsilon naught comes in the denominator. So, after solving it we get x max equals to this one. Now, putting the value of epsilon, epsilon is equal to epsilon r times epsilon naught. So, the final expression for the maximum distance travelled by the charge okay, would be this one. So, as the charge travels further, it loses its charge, it loses its value because it is decaying with time and after a long time, it decays all of its charge due to the leakage current and there will be no more electric force and no more motion of the charge. Okay. So, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends, teachers and I will see you in the next one. Peace.